everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you all my current SPF collection as of July 2021. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome, my name is Nadia and I love to test and review skincare products. Do feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Before we begin with the video, I definitely want to discuss uh, chemical and physical sunscreens briefly. From what I have learned in aesthetics school, chemical sunscreens uh, use ingredients that absorb and release UV rays from the skin. They typically take about 30 minutes to take effect and they are often lighter, they blend easily, and they do not leave a white cast. From personal experience, I definitely think that chemical sunscreens work on a broad range of skin tones. Physical sunscreens, on the other hand, are made with minerals that block and reflect UV rays. These sunscreens work instantly. So in order for them to work, you do not need to let them sit over the skin for about 30 minutes before you can safely walk out of your house. Physical sunscreens are uh, better suited for, say for example, rosacea prone skin or even sensitive skin. You should apply about a shot glass full of sunscreen to all exposed areas of the body. However, a nickel sized amount can be applied to the face, but remember that not all faces and not all bodies are the exact same. All sunscreens must be reapplied every two hours for full protection. So if you only apply your sunscreen prior to going out for a hike, and you're outdoors for the entirety of the day, you will definitely see the effects of the sun when you get home or later on in the week. These are all of the sunscreens I currently have on rotation or are in my collection as of July 2021. This collection definitely changes over time. I typically pick an SPF depending on uh, my planned activities throughout the day. Am I going to work? Am I working out? Or are we going for a dog walk? I will be splitting this into two videos since I have nine whole sunscreens in my collection. I will be starting my video with the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion. Now this has been in a ton of my videos. This is a non-greasy water and sweat resistant reef safe broad spectrum SPF safe for face and body. Pricing. Uh, there are different sizes available. The mini size retails for $22 for 2.4 ounces. Those have a regular size, the size I currently have on hand, and that retails for $32. You do receive 5.5 ounces. And we have a value size, a gigantor size, uh, for $58, and it's 18 ounces. The unit I own is uh, five and a half ounces, and it retails for 32, making this $5.81 per ounce. This can be found at Sephora, Nordstrom's, and Supergoop.com to name a few. This is a chemical sunscreen. What I like most about this particular sunscreen is that, well, we had a rough start. Um, I was first introduced to this product in a Hum Nutrition box, I want to say early 2020. Um, when I first applied this to the skin, I thought it was too heavy, it was too moisturizing, and it was just too sticky. I do remember trying this in the dead of summer, so it was hot as 
in here. Before I knew it, however, this was in my shopping cart and I was applying it to my face during my morning workouts or during my uh, dog walks. Not just to my face, but I was also applying this to my arms. This uh, quickly became one of my favorite sunscreens of 2020. I definitely reach for this the most whenever I uh, work out in the morning or whenever I go on dog walks when my skin needs extra moisture. Um, as far as what I don't like about this sunscreen, I do not reach for this much when I wear makeup. I definitely reach for this more uh, if I say, for example, I'm using harsh exfoliants or uh, my tretinoin and I need that extra moisture in the morning. Um, if you have, however, dull, lackluster skin, or if you love a very dewy, luminous finish to the skin, you may enjoy this under makeup a lot more than I personally do. So the finish of this sunscreen is not too sticky, definitely luminous, dewy, kind of plumping to the skin. I have been using this since early 2020, and I would recommend this to anyone who does not like sunscreens that leave a white cast, anyone who loves a dewy, very luminous finish to the skin, or anyone who needs an extra shot of moisture but does not want to wear an additional moisturizer under their SPF. Um, I do want to also say that this did not further congest or break me out. Next product I have, very similar to the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion, is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. This is a water resistant broad spectrum SPF 45 that contains a 30% hyaluronic acid complex. There are two different sizes available for this product. The first is a mini that retails for $22 and then the regular size shown here that retails for $52. Your price per ounce here is $30.58. Between these two, this is definitely the most affordable. This sunscreen is available at sephora.com, ultabeauty.com, and dermstore.com. This is also a chemical sunscreen. And similar to Supergoop's Play Everyday Lotion, this is a very hydrating sunscreen that blends easily over the skin and I also thought this was too rich for me at first but I ended up loving it over time. Funny how that happens, huh? I reach for this the same way I reach for um, Super Goop's Play Everyday Lotion, um, either during my morning uh, workout, I work out before uh, work like 6 30 maybe 7 a.m and then i also use this for my morning dog walks i will also apply it to the face and arms and as far as one thing that i do not like about this is that it can be just too hydrating for my skin i feel like i can still reach for this year round but i feel like I would reach for it more like during the drier, colder months or say for example when I'm using my tretinoin or just really active exfoliating products over the skin. I do not reach for this too much uh, when I wear makeup. I definitely reach for this when I use strong exfoliants or tretinoin and I need just that extra shot of moisture in the morning and I do not wear an additional moisturizer underneath this sunscreen. That is just a big no-no for me on my normal skin currently. The finish of this is not sticky and a very luminous, dewy finish to the skin. Um, as far as how long I've been using this, I, I want to say that this launched last year, or at least that's when I received it as part of PR from Peter Thomas Roth. And I began using it you know, in 2020. Um, I definitely used this, my first unit of this sunscreen, um, rather quickly. So this is a brand new unit. I also love that they include the expiration date here. I think that's just essential. Um, 
currently with, you know, us just having a ton of product at home, um, including expiration dates on sunscreens is amazing. I would recommend this to anyone that does not like sunscreens that leave a white cast or anyone who loves a very dewy or luminous finish to this skin or anyone who needs just an extra shot of moisture and does not want to wear an additional moisturizer underneath their SPF. Um, I also want to say that this did not break me out or further congest the skin. I also want to say that from the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion and the Water Drench Lotion, the most hydrating luminous finish SPFs that I currently have in my collection, the Water Drench is the least sticky of the two. Although both of them are not sticky at all from you know having them on my skin like that split uh, screen or split comparison this is definitely the least sticky of, of, of both of them next up a physical sunscreen I have the Murad environmental shield city skin age defense broad spectrum SPF 50 PA plus 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 um, so this is a 100% mineral sunscreen that protects against UVA, UVB, blue light from devices, pollution, and infrared radiation. This also has a lovely peachy tint to it to minimize the appearance of uneven tone. This retails for $68 for 1.7 ounces and price per ounce here is $40. I think this may be the most expensive sunscreen in my collection. This is currently available at Sephora and Myriad.com. And as mentioned earlier, this is a physical sunscreen. So it will just kind of block the rays of the sun. This is a lightweight, very lightweight physical sunscreen that blends so easily over the skin. I personally think it's got a semi matte finish that's not too too matte but it does leave the skin looking just kind of naturally luminous not overwhelmingly luminous from applying this without nothing over the skin definitely gave the skin a very natural finish but when I apply this over um, other skincare products it does tend to lean a little bit more on the luminous side unlike the previously mentioned sunscreens. I can actually wear this on dog walks and under makeup any time of year. Is there anything that I do not like about this? The fact that she is pricey. She is pricey. This wears beautifully under makeup and over different serums. I feel like it does not affect my makeup's uh, wear time and this is the sunscreen that I am wearing underneath my makeup today. And I'm wearing powder here but I'm not wearing powder here so you can really see you know what's underneath the non-powder areas. As far as finish, I do want to say that this is more of like a semi-matte kind of natural finish. I have actually been using this since it launched years ago. I want to say maybe three to four years ago. I remember buying this as soon as it hit our shelves at our spa and I have at least had it in my collection ever since. I would recommend this to anyone who loves or prefers a physical sunscreen. I feel like this has a natural finish to the skin with no white cast. And if you are concerned with uneven tone, I feel like the peachy tint to it can somehow diffuse the appearance of that uneven tone. This sunscreen has not broken me out at all. Next up, I do have the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Tinted Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is a water resistant physical SPF that has a universal tint that can diffuse the appearance of redness. This retails for $34 and you do receive 1.7 ounces, uh, making this $20 per ounce. This is currently available at Sephora.com, SkinStore.com, and PeterThomasRoth.com. This is a physical 
sunscreen. I definitely like the universal tint. I can use this physical SPF alone under makeup or recently on no makeup days. I have actually added a few drops of the Drunk Elephant Ooblous Rosy Drops for a bit of a rosy glow and added antioxidant protection to the skin. I have been reaching for this a lot on makeup days. I feel like this wears nicely under makeup and it doesn't have such an overwhelmingly luminous finish to the skin that kind of puts me off from applying this under makeup. So as far as what I do not like about this sunscreen is that it's a universal tint. I would definitely suggest that deeper skin tones swatch this prior to purchasing. I love, love, love wearing this sunscreen under makeup. The tint uh, gives my skin additional coverage. So the tint does give my skin a wee bit of additional coverage. I wasn't too kind to my body with my diet the last couple of days or weeks. Now this could either be from my diet, how poor it was, or just from the chemical peel. So I had this breakout here, 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 and here. And now I'm dealing with kind of like that post-inflammation hyperpigmentation. So using this particular sunscreen has added a little bit more coverage to my foundation alone without having to reach for that matte full coverage foundation that I currently have in my collection. Um, because of that, I have been reaching for this quite a bit. This does not give my skin such an overwhelmingly luminous finish to the skin, so it wears nicely under makeup and it does not affect the uh, wear time of my makeup. I think I've been using this for about two months and I would recommend this to anyone with normal combo or oily skin dealing with perhaps post-inflammation, hyperpigmentation, redness, uneven tone, or anyone who just wants to use a physical sunscreen. Next up, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Max Matte Shine Control Sunscreen SPF 45. This retails for $34 and you do receive 1.7 ounces, uh, making this $20 per ounce. This is currently available at Sephora, SkinStore.com, and PeterThomasRoth.com. This is a chemical sunscreen that claims to absorb surface oils. It also hydrates the skin without congesting your pores. One thing that I do not like about this sunscreen, this can be an unreliable sunscreen. I have been reaching for this more uh, when I go out on dog walks, on my face, and on my arms sometimes. If I have the time to reapply a full skincare uh, routine, I will risk it and apply it um, under makeup. Um, however, my least favorite thing about this product is that it is unreliable. It pills if, say for example, the previous day I used the same routine I'm using today, but today it's decided to pill. I have never experienced that in a sunscreen. My least favorite thing about this is that it is unreliable. Otherwise, under makeup, it wears really, really nicely. If I can get this um, over the skin without pilling as I'm about to apply my makeup, this wears nicely. This has more of a semi-matte kind of natural finish to the skin. My normal skin can still get a bit of a glow um, even after I apply this over the skin, however, and I have been using this for about two months. I would recommend this to oily skin, um, but do perhaps try wearing this alone to avoid any pilling. But this sunscreen definitely did not break me out either. From Peter Thomas Roth's newest launches, the mineral sunscreen is my favorite. 
During the um, swatches I did and I kind of put these two together, the matte finish actually looked matte and that is because I was not wearing anything under as far as skincare products. I will be uploading the second portion of my sunscreen collection next week or the week after that. So do make sure that you stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let me know what sunscreen you are wearing today um, in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you have yet to subscribe. And thank you all for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Dewy, luminous, luminous, luminous. Um, next up I have the, my upper lip is drying.